Creek Stewart here with Willow Haven Outdoor, and I'm very excited that I've just finished my new book titled Survival by Cell Phone. The whole preface behind this book is that we, as a modern society, rarely, if ever, leave home without our cell phone. We take it on vacation, we take it to school, to the grocery store, to church, to the bank, pretty much everywhere we go. We take it on vacations, we take it on camping trips and adventure trips. I take it one step further and assume that if we are ever faced with a survival situation or a disaster scenario, chances are we're probably going to have our cell phone with us and it probably is not going to work. In the book, I explore a variety of ways in which you can use a busted cell phone or its parts, components, or pieces to provide you with basic survival needs. Fire, cutting tools, navigation, signaling, and the list goes on and on. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this episode of Survival by Cell Phone. Chances are, if you ever find yourself in a survival situation or a disaster emergency, you are not going to have one of these, a compass. And sometimes, being able to determine a direction of course is absolutely critical. And you can't always depend on Mother Nature. Because like a day like today, where it is very cloudy and overcast, I can't even tell where the sun is in the sky. And that old saying about moss grows on the north side of trees is definitely not true either because there are certainly trees in the forest around me where there is moss growing on all the way around the trunk of those trees. In order to build a compass from the pieces and parts of a cell phone, you must first understand how a compass works and why it works. The earth has a magnetic pull from the South Pole to the North Pole. This needle, which is allowed to be free floating and unobstructed in the middle of this compass, is magnetized and will always align itself with the North-South Pole line of the Earth. So that is how a compass works. So if you can recreate the concept of this compass using the parts and pieces of a cell phone, you can build a makeshift compass that will tell you north-south direction. Among the parts and pieces here of this cell phone are all kinds of things. And if you know anything about speakers, you know that speakers are powered by a magnet. And in this case, this little cell phone right here has a little magnet that powers its speaker. Among the pieces in this cell phone are also wire. And you can tell that that's a magnet by how that wire sticks to that magnet. In order to recreate the concept of a compass, we need to magnetize this little needle, this little piece of wire. And the way we're going to do that is stroke this little piece of wire along this magnet 10, 15 times or so. Do it in one direction. And that actually magnetizes that needle. So now we need to free float this magnetized needle in some kind of fluid, in some kind of liquid, so that it will align itself with the north-south line. Okay, so as you can see, what I've done here is I've made a depression into this old rotted out stump. I've put in a leaf, put in a little bit of water in that leaf to create a free floating environment for this needle, which I have placed on a little piece of dried weed. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to ever so gently place that needle on there. We need to make sure that it's not obstructed 
So we need it to let it we need to let it be free floating. So we need to push it away from the side there and let it free float. And you can see that needle is going to slowly align itself with the exact with the exact alignment of this compass. Now this is not something that you want to do in a interrupted pool of water or a disrupted pool of water or in the wind because this needle, this floating needle is very very sensitive to any disruptions. Now that needle is pointing in a north-south direction. One end is north and one end is south. You're not going to be exactly sure which direction is which unless you can get some kind of gauge by the sun. Now you wouldn't be doing this if you had a clear view of the sun, but even on a cloudy day in the morning in the evening you can get some kind of idea what is the general direction of east and west and then this right here can give you very specific direction of north and south. So just for floating a magnetized needle that you've magnetized from the little speaker magnet which is right here from the little speaker magnet in a busted cell phone can provide you with a north-south line of direction and you can keep that needle and that magnet on your trek and realign yourself as as you need to if you're in thick woods and you can't keep a, a good heading so there you have it a very crude but very effective way of navigating with the busted pieces of a cell phone using a magnetized wire and the speaker magnet from within a cell phone if you have any questions or comments, feel free to post, and I appreciate your views.